We've seen actors and billionaires and others head to space, but how about former presidents, or at least their hair? Yes, that's right, Will Gans explains. Space, the final frontier. This morning, some of America's most prominent leaders are taking a page out of Captain Kirk's book. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Presidents George Washington, Dwight D. Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, and Ronald Reagan are headed to outer space. Or at least their hair is. On President's Day, space burial company Celestis announcing their plan to launch authentic DNA from the four presidents into space on their upcoming Enterprise flight, a deep space time capsule. This mission marking the first time in history that any president has gone to space in any fashion, symbolically or otherwise. But why are they doing it? Celeste is telling us in a statement, the philosophical goal for sending DNA into deep space is twofold. First, to assist in the understanding of the human role in large-scale space migration. And second, to establish a scientifically appropriate and traceable path for the actual spread of human DNA throughout the solar system. And the presidents aren't the only DNA samples set to take flight. Celestis will also include the DNA, cremated remains, and mine files, or messages from the deceased, of several superstar Trekkies along for this ride, too. Gentlemen, beam me aboard. Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and original cast members Nichelle Nichols, James Doohan, and DeForest Kelly are all headed to space, too. All of these samples will launch from Cape Canaveral on the brand new ULA Vulcan on its maiden flight to send a lunar lander to the moon later this year. Then this capsule with the president's and Star Trek star's DNA will journey further to potentially be discovered by a distant civilization.